Welcome to a little bit of Lab Rat Fun networking with Fish. We're going to play with IWAN today, uh, Cisco's SD WAN solution, the intelligent wide area networking. And what we're going to do specifically is we're going to go ahead and bring up a virtual machine, which is of the APICEM. We'll be using later on the IWAN app. And it is March 2016. This is version 1.01, so this will be replacing. Uh, the December 2015 one that I had out there on YouTube. So all we're going to do in this very simple and fast YouTube is bring up the virtual machine and then from the iWAN app, the iWAN app will be at 10.101.30.11. Its default gateway will be 10.101.30.1, which is this layer 3 router right here. 10.101.30.1 will also be our NTP server. And then we'll be using the same similar environment later on in future YouTubes. So let's go ahead and go over to, <clears throat> excuse me. So I have in vSphere, so we're actually in the APIC-EM right here. And this is the initial view. So select view license agreement. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say accept because we've already viewed it. Validating disk throughput. And this wizard will walk you through the steps to configure the APIC EM module. Choose from the options below to specify how you would like to configure this host. I am just going to go ahead and create a new APIC EM cluster. The IP address, as I already mentioned, is going to be 10.101.30.11. I am not going to have a virtual IP. Feel free to go ahead and hit pause on any things that I don't go over so you can read this yourself as opposed to me reading it for you. Netmask 255.255.255.0 default gateway 10.101.30.1 DNS server optional not going to use it. Static routes optional not going to use it. I got a default gateway here. So we're going to go ahead and go to next and since the wizard noticed two NICs, you'll get prompted for this other one, but we're not going to use it. Please wait while we validate and configure host networking. Now, this version, version 1.0, is not hugely dissimilar in the bringing up of the VM as was the December 2015 version, version 1.0. Where this really is going to um, be different is when we're actually provisioning the hub um, because what you'll be able to notice is if you saw that from the diagram there's actually two data centers and also in provisioning the branches and in the future some additional troubleshooting and monitoring. So HTTPS and you'll notice here it does not say that it's optional. The controller appears to be behind a network proxy. Enter your network proxy configuration settings to enable cloud connectivity. Now, what was confusing about this is, again, it does not say optional. But if you actually go ahead and say, OK, well, I don't want to do this. We can go to next. And it says unable to communicate with the cloud. So. The only thing that bothered me was you don't actually get, did you notice down here that now it actually says skip proxy? The only thing I wish is that that had actually been on the previous page. So skip proxy. Are you sure you want to skip the proxy? Yes, I am sure I would like to skip the proxy. So let's say my CCO username. So let's do networking with fish. And my CCO password is networking with fish of course it's not actually company name is Cisco so while this is required I'm actually behind I'm siloed off into my own little environment right now so we'll just say next so this is going to be the um, Linux password for the grapevine Linux user what is grapevine we'll look at that but we're going to do capital C one SCO one two three. Capital C one SCO one two three. And this is optional. Optional. And go. So this is going to be the APIC EM GUI. So C one SCO one two three. 
C1, SCO, 1, 2, 3. Now, if you'll notice this has an asterisk right here, right above NT, right to the right of NTP server, it also has an asterisk right over here where in the blue at the bottom where it says asterisk indicates a mandatory field. This is required. So it is recommended to specify three or more NTP servers. We're gonna go ahead and we only have the one. It's our layer three router at the core. So if it's dead, I lose my default gateway anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So 10.101.30.1. Enter a single NTP as recommended three or more. So what you'll see is we'll do next, 10.101.31. It's gonna validate the NTP server. Again, this is a mandatory field. So specify whether or not the wizard should delete any existing APGAM data, harvest all virtual disks. I just am deploying this OVA for the first time. I don't know, I don't care, no. Delete all users, no. This should be an absolute brand new install. So now we can go ahead and proceed. Again, you can hit the pause button if you wanna read any of this. So we're just gonna go ahead and proceed. At this point in time, I always feel like I should do the theme song to Jeopardy. Do 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 Okay, I'll stop. I know. Don't quit your day job. Got it. So this is gonna go ahead and go on for a while. You saw that great fine thing there configuring the NTP. It's gonna give you some status updates as to what it's doing. And one of the things that I just wanted to call out here is it is gonna go ahead and it's going to bring up this thing called a grapevine. Grapevine starting, stopping the grapevine services, it's gonna build the grapevine services. So what the grapevine is, is the grapevine's actually going to be something underneath the APIC-EM. So this is resetting grapevine database. So the GUI is actually gonna sit on top of this thing that is gonna be referred to as a grapevine. Um, I don't believe that, I have not actually had to go into it at all. I just kind of sort of poked around with it for a little bit of fun, <laughs> a little bit of geeky fun. It will go ahead and when you go through here, it'll allow you to actually go into um, the Grapevine GUI, or you could also go into the CLI for the APIC EM. But again, most of the time, you're just gonna go ahead and be in the APIC EM GUI. So what I'm gonna do, do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here and we're going to start a timer so that you have an idea as to from right now, click start. And so here it is, it is 18 minutes and 30 some, some odd seconds later. Oh, and we just lost that and it just told us what IP address to go to. Okay, so it's about 18 minutes later, a little bit shy of that, and the configuration wizard has completed successfully to access the APIC-EM web user interface. Go ahead and go to 10.101.30.11. We are not going to be doing that right now. The first thing we're gonna do, and the only thing we're gonna do right now, is we're just gonna go ahead and do exactly what I said in the YouTube, which is just to ping 10.101.30.1. Now we've pinged, we've pinged 10.101.30.1, but it just doesn't feel right just to stop from there and say, ooh, look, we can ping the default gateway without actually having you at least see the APIC EM for which you spent all this time watching us bring it up. So let's go ahead and go into 10.101.30.11. So if we look here, this is uh, APIC EM, it's APIC EM version 1.0767. We just went ahead and deployed it right now. If you look over here, we have home, discovery, device inventory, host inventory, topology, IWAM. Now, to be perfectly frank and honest, I play in the IWAM world right now. Haven't really played a lot with the other stuff. But this is where we're going to go ahead and be taking it up from the next YouTube, which will be configuring the hub site and the settings at the hub site. So, hope you had a lot of fun playing in the lab, networking with fish, and I will catch you soon.